everyone, this is Jack. Well, in this video, I'm going to share 10 frost resistant vegetables you can grow in winter. So let's get started. Number one, cauliflower. Now cauliflower is a little bit tough to grow because insects and pests love cauliflower. So you must spray your cauliflower with neem oil and a pure castor soap to keep the bugs off of them. And also you can use some diatomaceous earth to get rid of some of the beetles, some of the earwigs as well. Now cauliflower is hardy to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you get a little bit of frost or even a little bit of snow, you can still grow cauliflower. Number two, cabbage. Now cabbage is similar to cauliflower and pests love cabbage as well. So you have to be very proactive in spraying cabbage with neem oil and pure castor soap as well. And cabbage is hardy to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can always grow cabbage in frost and even light snow as well. Number three, broccoli. Now broccoli is hardy to 28 degrees Fahrenheit. And broccoli is easy to grow as compared to cauliflower and cabbage. Broccoli turns into a nice huge crown, which is the flower of the plant. And that is edible flower. So you can enjoy broccoli crowns all winter long. You can grow lots of broccoli. You can harvest the main crown of broccoli and keep harvesting lots of little broccolinis as well and enjoy them in your food. Number four, kale. A kale is frost resistant to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you get a little bit of light frost, kale will make it through it at no problem. However, kale leaves do get wilted in light frost. So if you want to enjoy tender kale leaves, you must cover your kale plants with either a plastic tote or a greenhouse plastic. That way you can enjoy nice tender kale leaves all winter long. Number five, Swiss chard. A Swiss chard is hardy down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit and Swiss chard is super easy to grow. You can start with some Swiss chard seeds. You can directly sow Swiss chard into the ground even in early fall and you can enjoy Swiss chard all winter long. Now you can start harvesting kale and Swiss chard leaves as soon as the plant gets about four sets of leaves and you can keep harvesting older leaves and encourage new leaves to grow. Number six, collard greens. Now collard greens are hardy down to five degrees Fahrenheit they can tolerate frost and some snow as well. Now collard green leaves are a little bit tough. That's why they're so hardy in winter. So if you want to enjoy collard green leaves, you must saute them or cook them and add them to your soup or some warm salad. Number seven, peas. Now peas are also really easy to grow. You can directly sow peas in your ground or you can start pea seedlings ahead of time. Another note, you can also grow pea shoot microgreens and I made a separate video on how to grow microgreens, top five microgreens you can grow and also how to grow pea shoot microgreens as well. So check those out if you're interested. Now, growing peas is super easy. You just need some sort of a trellis for peas to climb on. And you can start harvesting peas in just two months because pea plants will start producing peas just two months into growing. And you can harvest peas all the way into spring. Number eight, carrots. Now carrots are also frost resistant and they can take light snow as well. Carrots are hardy down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you do get some snow, you can still harvest carrots that are growing underground under the snow. So that's a really cool thing about carrots. Lots of northern states in the United States and lots of countries in northern Europe plant the carrots in early fall and they can harvest carrots when even when there is snow on the ground and they can keep harvesting carrots. However, if you get light frost and you don't even get snow, you can keep planting carrots in succession all winter long and keep harvesting carrots all the way up to spring. Now, one crucial tip about growing carrots is that you must have loose soil. Otherwise, your carrots will not grow nice and strong and straight. They will be crooked. So you must grow your carrots either in raised beds or on berms. I made a separate video on five root vegetables you must grow and five tips to grow root vegetables as well. So check that out if you're interested. Number nine, radish. Now just like carrots, radishes love loose soil. So you must plant your radishes either on berms or on raised beds. And radishes are hardy down to 28 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you get light snow, radishes will make it through. Now, nice thing about growing radishes and carrots is that the leaves are edible too. So you can add these leaves into your salad or also saute them to add them to your soup as well. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with creative classes for curious and inspiring people. 
Now you can develop new skills using classes from Skillshare. For example, I use one of their DIY product photography class by Rachel Galetta and Daniel Inskeep, in which I learned how to use spacing and lighting and also how to style my shots. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link to Skillshare in the description and first 1,000 people are going to get free membership and after that, it's just $10 a month. Number 10, garlic, which is my favorite because garlic is absolutely maintenance free. You can just plant cloves of garlic into the ground in early fall for some states such as California, where we get light winters and light frost. So we plant our garlic in fall. If you are in Northern states or in Northern Europe or where it gets really cold and you get snow, you can plant your garlic in early spring and grow all the way through summer and harvest in fall. And garlic is absolutely maintenance free. All you do is plant the cloves into the ground and wait about eight to nine months, keep watering them, and these cloves will develop into nice bulbs. Be sure to mulch your garlic plants and also plant bigger cloves to grow bigger bulbs. I made a separate video on the complete guide on growing garlic, so check that out. And I also made a video about seven tips to plant and grow garlic as well. I really hope you learn about these 10 frost resistant vegetables you can grow in winter. And I hope you can grow a lot of these vegetables all throughout the winter. And I'll see you in another video.